these ghost videos are scaring paranormal investigators. Do you believe in ghosts? I believe in ghosts. I believe in extraterrestrial shit. <laughs> that's just a kid falling down, bro. And that's a horse. Alright. But sometimes it's too some funny. Of the scariest videos found around the internet. Why are you so happy about it, bro? <laughs> you know, usually with scary videos, they start with like really scary music, not a lot of light, nobody smiling. They're preparing you, you know, to be scared, and they're like. In today's video, we are going to see the 12 scariest moments recorded on CCTV. <laughs> you know, like something like that. And then he's like, yay, today we're going to watch a scary video. <laughs> Some ghosts around. <laughs> let's check them out. Let's, let's check them out. Let's go. Let's do this. Woo. Fun. The first clip on our list was uploaded to TikTok by user Cheyenne Maya XO. It's a brief excerpt of some home security footage that shows a rather disconcerting scene. Take a look. Ouch. Okay, it's just like maybe the wind. Oh, Watching kid. that again, out of nowhere, the door opens as if controlled by some sort of unseen force. Come on, it's the wind! While the uploader suggests it might have been the work of a ghost, it's a certain type of ghost known as a poltergeist that is thought to possess the ability to manipulate objects in the living world. Unlike traditional ghosts, which are often associated with apparitions or spectral visions, poltergeists are known for their alleged ability to move or levitate objects, create unexplained noises, and even cause harm to human inhabitants. Oh my inhabitants. god, that looks creepy with Reports that Reports of poltergeist activity have been documented for centuries across various cultures, yeah. and are frequently associated with particular locations or individuals, especially adolescents. While I, never, I never dealt with a poltergeist, I don't know really. But imagine one day you enter your room and then uh, bunny chair is flipped backwards up there. You know, that would be interesting. Sometimes I wonder, like, I would like to see something like that. But then again, I'm like, nah, I don't want. Because after seeing something like that, there is no denying, you know. <laughs> after you see it with your own eyes. Skeptics often attribute these occurrences to natural phenomena or human-made pranks. Many believers argue that they provide evidence of the supernatural realm's interaction with our physical world. So does this footage prove the existence of poltergeists? It's just Watch it another time and this let me know what you so... think in the comments down below. Ouch. So many babies too, man. <sighs> Poor kid. How many times we will have to cut this? This creepy photo was originally posted to the Ghosts of London Facebook page. The person who captured the picture notes that it was extracted from video footage recorded by their home security system. See, this is what I don't understand. Why do people, like, do you spend time just re-watching your security footages? In the video, the figure's appearance is supposedly so brief it happens in just the blink of an eye. Yes. They go on to say that they believe that the ghostly figure might actually be their deceased Yeah, friend. only if something happens, you watch it. If you suspect something is going to happen, you watch it. Like you heard noises and then the next day you want to watch. But out of out of nowhere, we're like, hey, yeah, let me today spend three hours re-watching the last eight hours or something like that. <laughs> like what? While skipping through. Mother, as it would have been her birthday the day before this image. Oh my God, okay, that's, that's system. Scary. In the video, the figure's appearance is supposedly so brief it happens in just the blink of an eye. They go on to say that they believe that the ghostly figure might actually be their deceased grandmother, as it would have been her birthday the day before this image was captured. So what do you think? Does the figure captured on the poster's security camera resemble the photo of their deceased grandmother? Right, it's a smudge. Let me know your take <laughs> on this one down so below. So mean. Does that thing there look like my grandma? <laughs> oh. Slapped ham fan Trish McCubbin sent this next clip to our community yeah, page. Yeah, they over get on the Facebook. notification that something look, happened on the camera, so they check. Oh. 
lights are oh oh okay yeah what oh yeah mm -hmm. yeah that's a ghost trish explains <laughs> that the footage was captured on cctv in the stock room of the shop where she works it shows what looks like a wheeled trolley laden with supplies seemingly beginning to move all by on its itself own. it's not even like guys like this would happen if the ship is like tilting because of waves you know like no no this is straight nothing is happening all by itself it started moving as you can see there doesn't appear to be any way the trolley was pushed by a person as it seems to be resting too close to the wall this clip certainly presents a rather creepy mystery could it be the work of a disgruntled poltergeist or is there another way to explain the trolley's eerie movement we'll throw Probably this one a, over to you the viewers for final judgment trying to squeeze himself in there like move bitch <laughs> magic yeah i don't like that at all nah that that would creep me out when Lisa oh, Jane Galvin person. noticed her horse Amber was oh acting God, strangely, she decided to take mark. a picture. No this is what she caught. Caught. There appears to be a ghostly figure actually riding the horse. Yeah. Could it be possible? It looks like he's so small, like his his head. These are his hands holding the thing, and then this is a rope, a magical rope. Possible that it's just a remarkable case of pareidolia, That's or cool. is there more to the image? I mean, you can see it's so much smoke everywhere just because this smoke is shaped a bit like it's riding. The term ghost rider conjures images of a spectral horseman galloping through the night, often as a harbinger of yeah, doom or dust. an agent of vengeance. The notion of these spectral riders really have been woven into ghosts. the fabric of various cultures, folklore, and popular media. In American folklore, one of the most iconic tales of ghost riders comes from the legend of the ghost riders in the sky. This tale tells of cowboys who are forever doomed to chase a herd of cattle across the sky, oh serving God. as a warning to the living about the consequences of a life of sin. In other cultures, ghost riders often serve as omens. Bobas! The Wild Hunt, a European folk myth, describes a group of ghostly hunters in frenzied pursuit of their quarry. Witnessing this phantom chase is said to presage some catastrophe such as war or plague. While interpretations vary, the central theme remains consistent. Ghost riders are restless spirits forever bound to their ethereal steeds, riding in pursuit of an unending goal or to deliver a message from the beyond. Given such a legendary background, it's tantalizing to consider the possibility that this photo might show you a see, genuine it's here spectral too. rider. It's all smoke. However, with the current evidence at hand, we're left in a realm of speculation, and the true nature of the image remains shrouded in mystery. Okay, Skynet, that sounds like a scary video. The scariest video I have seen five year old girl standing on her grave in the middle of the night. Creepy cave encounter. This unsettling video was uploaded to TikTok by user Abu Ram. Okay, the reason why this video is unsettling is because you kind of see these guys are prepared to dig something, to do something, and they have cameras for another probably reason, and then somehow they end up in this situation. It's not like they went. To see a ghost. Summon. It shows two men in a dark cave. One of whom seems to be in some sort of trance-like oh state. Look at him. Or even possession. Yeah. He dies. The man in the foreground points towards a dark tunnel on the opposite side where a mysterious creature is said to be lurking. That's funny. <laughs> Ah, this is so funny. <laughs> you can see that the guy is like putting makeup on himself and just crouching there. And this guy's trying to pretend he's the best actor ever. Give this man an Oscar. Come on. The camera holder begins to panic. However, the man attempts to calm him before beginning to perform some type of ritual. Yeah, this is the thing, you know. A lot of people uh, started making money in Arab uh, in the, the Islam religion by uh, saying that you get possessed by a demon and then they have prayers and stuff to get the demon out because somebody sent that demon to you uh, in order to, for example, break up your relationship or have you in divorce or, or like they're jealous and they want you to lose your job or have less success. So they come... 
and make prayers and make these rituals in order to extract the demon from you, which is like exorcism basically, but in not that full of situation, you know? And they pay for it. You have to pay for it. You go to these sessions, they pray over your body. There is there is a lot. I, I went to want to see, because I was interested in seeing these things, these rituals. I was very shocked, very surprised. It was a bit funny, but a bit also scary. And I didn't know what to believe after it, because it's so real. Like, it looks so real, so you don't know if it's real or not. And it's still happening even today, and people are doing it as a business. Like, some people, literally full-time job for them is to extract demons from people. So, yeah, like exorcists. I don't know how they're called. So I feel like this video was literally made as a promotion, as a, a ad, advertisement for this guy or something. So whoever would see it in that country would be like, this guy is good, man. Look, look what he did to this demon. Let's go to him. <laughs> After several seconds, the man then quietly approaches the one in the trance. Placing his hand over his eyes, he appears to release him from this strange yeah, state. Yeah, this is exactly how they do it. I saw this is exactly they put they put their hands here and they put the small book, which is the Quran, on their chest, and and they're like vomit out whatever you have in you or or just release get out demon get out you know these things and like the demon's like oh it's burning it burns it burns me and like then get out if it burns you and stuff like that oh my god yeah there i don't know i don't know what to do i don't know like even saying these words out loud sounds like i'm reciting a movie but it's true it's like it happens people do that and it's 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 still a thing you know so i don't know what to believe anymore eight <laughs> Several viewers have suggested that what we're witnessing is actually a jinn possession. According yeah. to some sources, jinns require a human to attach to during rituals, which could explain the state of the man in the background. Now, every, all of this is fine for me, but that guy there standing, his friend there who put makeup on like one hour ago. Jinns are supernatural entities <laughs> rooted in Islamic law, believed to inhabit a dimension like beyond human perception. They can be good, evil, or neutrally disposed to humans. They're also said to have the ability to change shape and are often depicted as taking on animal forms, oh, yeah, such as dogs or snakes. I believe in While this. While jinns have their own societies and traditions, their realm is believed to be able to intersect with ours, leading to tales of possession, influence, or harm caused to humans. Yeah, like uh, some humans can like do business with jinns and send them to other humans as well. And... The thing is that these jinns are outcasts and they cannot go back to their hometown or whatever because they're not accepted anymore after they make a deal. So they don't want to leave the human body because they have nowhere else to go. But also they want to stay in the human body because it's hard for them to stay there. So does this video show a jinn possession actually taking place? Unfortunately, without more information on the footage, this one will have to remain a mystery. It is scary. It's a mystery. Being. I want to know if this is true or not. <laughs> I don't know what to believe. Why is this funny? <laughs> okay. Okay, when dude. a potential home buyer began researching <laughs> properties, they came across this listing for a house in Live Oak, California. The image, as seen here, was later <laughs> uploaded to the Ghosts of London Facebook page. Uh, oh, creepy old houses. Oh my god. Supposedly, after the potential buyer called the real estate agent trying to get more info on the picture, they blacked it out. Why? However, the property, which was originally on the market for 39000 then mysteriously tripled in price. <gasps> The potential Why? buyer claims that they ran the image through a photo editor software app and found that the ghostly anomaly hadn't been added to the original photo. Furthermore, they believe the figure doesn't have any eyes, just sockets, noting oh, look, it there. could be the ghost of a woman. Yeah, she's just peeking there. If you zoom in on the figure, you can see that it does indeed appear to have a somewhat skeletal face. 
Just the kids rolling, yeah. While the authenticity of this image is uncertain, it serves as a haunting reminder that there are elements of our world that remain unexplained, challenging our understanding of the known and the unknown. True. Whether a genuine apparition or an optical illusion, the photo undeniably stirs the imagination and keeps the age-old debate on the existence of ghosts alive. I don't understand why ghosts always peek from windows and stuff. Why are you not in front of me? Why don't you come literally there in my face? Like, l l so I can see you. Why does it always have to be pixelated somewhere there in the corner? They're shy? Maybe. Before we take don't a look at some shy. rather it's eerie fine. home security... No, actually, it's not fine. I'm not inviting you. In my, host, in my house, you are now welcome here. You're now welcome... <laughs> I don't want you anywhere near me. Footage. Remember to hit that subscribe <laughs> button then, tickle that little that bell icon there, okay? there, and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be notified every time we drop our scary, <clears throat> mysterious videos. Slapped Ham fan Simon Graham sent us this creepy clip over on Facebook. Take a look at what it shows. Where are we looking though? Oh. Yeah, sometimes, like, because it has, like, its own engine, right? It automatically starts by its own. The poster claims it's a snippet of footage that was captured on his friend's security camera located in their garage. The video, captured at 5.43am, shows a child's toy car Good suddenly thing it's beginning not at to three move, seemingly all on its own. The creepiest part of the story is that the poster's friend claims that at the time the footage was captured... Don't tell me there was no battery. I was even saying this probably is like battery by itself. The car's battery had been taken out and was being charged on the workbench. Okay, that's creepy. So could the car's unexplained movement be the work of a cheeky poltergeist? Or is there another way to explain this rather unnerving footage? Hmm. Let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments. Why would they lie though? Wait, wait, wait. Like, I understand you guys say they're lying, they're lying. They don't earn money from them. Maybe a bit, but not not a lot. They genuinely watched this footage, got scared, and shared their knowledge. Like, look what happened here. This is exactly, like, the reason why we suspect it's a ghost or whatever. Maybe attention, true. But they, look, they don't have even the name of the person who did it, uh, whose, whose garage this is, whose CCTV is. Like, I don't know. I don't know why why would people lie about these things of course no no no. i'm saying in specific situations but of course if people are t recording like that guy <laughs> okay we know why that guy lied like why this guy lied but i don't understand why someone would just out of the blue say hey look it shows a child's toy car suddenly beginning to move flying for the cloud but where is the cloud who's who did this what cloud they got no cloud this is the thing the creepiest part of the story is that the poster's friend Clay poltergeist. Or is there another way to explain this rather unnerving footage? Let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. A lot of people fake things only for attention. Even if they are credited, they still now, feel like they are. Creepy... Oh shit! Sorry. Um, if you want to see, yeah, if you want to see the original uh, video, it's by Slapped Ham. <laughs> it's a funny name. Even if they are accredited, they still feel like they are getting the attention that there is just the types they want to scare and troll. Yeah, true. That's that's 100% true. Not everyone wants to do it because they actually believe in it, but they just want to troll you. Which is fine, I guess. I don't know. We get entertained either way. It's not like it's influenced my life in whatsoever type of way.